Welcome to Young Audiences of Louisiana Simple Arts Bite Sized. I'm Todd Schaefer, Young Audiences of Louisiana Teaching Artist, and this is The Matching Game. Today I thought we'd learn how to make our own matching game. Now, I love making games, and this one's a really easy one to do because all you need are a few supplies from the house, and then you can make this incredible game. You can make it really big and, I don't know, just have a lot of fun with it. So without further ado, let's get started. The great thing about this matching game is you don't need a lot of supplies to get this thing rocking and rolling. You're gonna need some note cards, probably have these around the house. If you don't have any, some thicker paper, you could get that and just cut it up. You're going to need a pencil to draw with, a pair of scissors. If you don't feel comfortable cutting this, you can always have mom or dad do it for you and a selection of markers. I've got all my favorite colors there and ready to go. You may even have some more colors you like working with. But that's it, that's all you need to do this fun project. With this matching game, you're gonna need a bunch of cards like this that have, um, um, can be cut in half and made into two cards. So you're gonna need a bunch of sets of cards. So the first thing you do is you get your card ready and on this one, I think I'm gonna do a flower. Do a flower. Now, one thing you want to be careful with is that you're making everything the same. Because remember, it has to match. Now, one thing I'm doing here is I'm, I'm drawing it kind of a good size. I'm not drawing it real small. If you draw it too tiny, it's hard to see sometimes when you color it. So on these, it might be better just to make it a little bigger. The next thing I'm going to do is just so it shows up really well, I'm gonna take a black marker and I'm gonna trace over those pencil lines just like this. And I'll do this one too. Now the reason I started in pencil is, well, if I make one that's too small, I can sort of erase it and match it up to the other one. So perfect, I've got two that are ready to go. Maybe I'll put a nice happy face on each of these. Oh, there you go. Now I'm gonna color my flower up. I think I'll do some yellow. So remember, whatever you color down here, you're gonna need to color so they match. You want both of them to match. That's really pretty. Maybe I'll just do some white daisies. Oh, that's great. So I've made some others up too. I've made some clouds. And I just made this little sort of brown ball and I made some sharks, just like that. Now I haven't had a chance to color these up, but you can see I kept it pretty simple. But remember, they both match. And now the next step is really easy. You're gonna take your card, just like this, and you're going to cut it in two. Now one thing you can do is take it, fold it down the middle, just like that. And then you have a card ready to cut. And voila, you've got your cards ready to go. Now, I didn't use a Sharpie marker. I did use water-based markers on this because a lot of times if you use Sharpie, when you flip it over, you can see it on the back. You could do a design that matched on the back of all of these, or you could put a sticker on it or something like that. But I think that'll be fun. And then, Let's see how we might play the matching game. So here is my matching game. I ended up designing a cool thing on top. I used a, th a fingerprint and then I did that design on it. And I just sort of, I didn't want perfect, but I just sort of copied it each time. So this is how you play. Flip over a card. All right, I've got that flower we made earlier. Let's see, is this it right here? Nope, got a ball, so I have to flip back. All right, so that's there. Let's see what I've got here. Ah, there's that flower. And there's the flower. Oh, I've got a match. Great. The cool thing about this game is you can play it by yourself or you can have someone play with you. And remember, the more cards you have, the more challenging it is. So figure out what you want to cut your paper up, you can do them big or small, but just make sure your paper's a little thicker with that. So that's it, that's all you do. You're just gonna need a few supplies. You can ask mom to pick them up for you or maybe you can find them around the house. 
put it all together and have yourself a lot of fun. I'm gonna do some more of these right now. I love this design so much.